correspondent, appearing on all platforms and shows, including Good Morning America, World News Tonight with David Muir, and Nightline. Previously, he was a correspondent at ESPN. Will is the proud son of Christopher and Dana Reeve. He serves on the Reeve Foundation's Board of Directors and acts as captain of Team Reeve, recruiting individuals around the country to join and support the Reeve Foundation community. He is a 2014 graduate of Middlebury College in Vermont and currently lives in New York City. Can you tell us uh, briefly about the Christopher and Dana Reeve Foundation named in honor of your parents um, and its mission to help uh, those with spinal cord injuries? Well, we have two missions, a dual mission at the Reeve Foundation. We aim to fund and find cures for spinal cord injury, which of course was the daily mission of my dad after his injury. And then we also aim to improve the quality of life for people living with paralysis and their families who are affected by something as traumatic and often devastating as a spinal cord injury, which was my mom's mission and her enduring legacy becoming mm -hmm. a primary caregiver thrust into that role. Uh so the, like you had mentioned, um, the foundation's work um, and progress uh, is geared towards the goal of empty wheelchairs. Um, and it's remarkable. Uh, what are some of the significant benchmarks of progress that have already been uh, made uh, to achieve this goal? Well, our foundation in some iteration has existed since 1982. Uh, when my dad was injured in 1995, he became involved with an organization that had already previously existed. And my dad overnight became the face of paralysis and really turbocharged the spinal cord injury research movement. But since 1982, using that as the baseline, we've invested nearly $140 million in labs for research worldwide. Every day is following my dad's orders, really, of moving faster, better, and smarter, putting pressure on scientists and researchers and doctors mm -hmm. globally to continue to push the pace, to not settle for status quo, for not, to not be patient in their pursuit of a cure. And I think because of the coalitions and the networks that we've built at the Reef Foundation, we're able to be at the, the leading edge of, of all of this research. That is, I think, at its core, the fundamental goal of the foundation is to be the beacon for this community in terms of finding a cure. And so the foundation is broken up into, or into today's care, tomorrow's cure. Um, and uh, you, or the foundation, has um, the Parallelsis Resource Center um, and its various program, and a variety of programs. Can you tell us a little bit more um, about the center and the programs? So my mom quickly realized that there needed to be a resource for people who are impacted by paralysis. So she, along with my dad and the foundation and key stakeholders created the Paralysis Resource Center in 2002. And it's free, it's national, it's comprehensive, it's just a hub of information for anyone impacted by a spinal cord injury. Another hugely important aspect of what we do on the care side is our peer and family support program, where you or a loved one or a community member has a spinal cord injury, we're going to pair you up with someone who has experienced what you're experiencing. And that could be as broad as another person with a spinal cord injury, or it could be as specific as another person from your area who got injured the same way, who's into the same things, who, whatever it might be, to sort of help you navigate this new life and help you get the most out of it and to guide you through all of these difficult moments that are sure to arise. Also, we have people who can help out on the caregiving side. My mom would have benefited so much from being able to call someone who's been through the exact same scenario as the wife of someone who gets injured. And then of course we have our military and veterans program where sadly so many of our brave heroes 
come back from combat injured or get injured in other ways and need additional help beyond what the military can provide to them. And we have trained people to, to provide that for them. So that's as bad as comprehensive a, a look at like, the care side of things. Absolutely. You're an amazing individual. It's an honor to um, have spoken with you.